Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about the first grade standard titled MD5 and if you would like to go to our county website you can click on that and it'll tell you um, uh, what the standard is and that of course is um, identifying quarters, nickels, and dimes and um, how they relate to pennies. So I'm using some books that I have to show you each coin and there's a page in each book that talks about how that coin relates to um, pennies. So the first one is the quarter. And of course, we as adults know all these coins, but sometimes our children um, may not recognize them or they forget um, what they look like and they get them mixed up with um, the other coins because they all look silver except for pennies. Um, so sometimes it is hard to remember the difference between each coin, but we're going to talk about that and you can help remind your child um, the differences between each coin. So this is a quarter again. And these two pages show you the front and the back of the quarter. And this, of course, is one of our presidents. It is George Washington, our very first president. And then this page shows you how the quarter relates to pennies and vice versa, how pennies relate to the quarter. So I'm going to show you just this page. And if you'll look, um, at the top there are five stacks of pennies and there are five pennies in each stack and then there's a number underneath and basically what that is is just counting by fives. So you can do this at home. You can take out um, 25 pennies and make five stacks and put five in each stack and then have your child count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And then at the bottom, it just shows you that one quarter equals 25 pennies, and that just means that it's the same value. So this and this is the same value. And that's what you want them to understand is that 25 pennies is the same value as 25 cents. So that is the quarter. And then next is the dime. And sometimes children get this coin mixed up with a quarter or a nickel, especially because it is smaller. They forget that it actually um, is more value than a nickel. So you can help them remember that even though the dime is smaller, it is worth more than the nickel. So that's um, the front of the dime. So this again shows you the front and the back of the dime. And of course it is another president. It is Franklin D. Roosevelt. And you can do history lesson um, as well with this. You can talk about um, some of our presidents. Okay, so this page shows you how um, the dime relates to pennies and there's no stacks because you only need 10 pennies. So you have the dime at the top and then the pennies at the bottom. And then it says one dime equals 10 pennies. So one dime is the same value as 10 pennies. All right, and then we have the nickel. And the nickel is worth five cents. This is the front of the nickel and the back. Of course, another president. This is Thomas Jefferson. And then this picture shows you um, how nickels relate to a dime, but also how the nickel relates to pennies. So the top part shows you two nickels because they're each worth five cents. So five plus five equals 10. 
So that makes it the same value as a dime. Two nickels is the same value as one dime. And then the bottom one shows you the nickel related to the penny. So you have one nickel, which is worth five cents, and then you have five pennies underneath. And then at the bottom it shows you one nickel is the same value as five pennies. So this is how we relate pennies with quarters, nickels, and dimes. And I hope that it's been helpful and um, your children will remember their coins and remember how they relate to pennies.